Is my audio working? Yeah, good. Almost forgot to do that. What the dog doing? Yo. Whoa, no way. Oh my God. Oh my God, hello. Thank you for the subscription, Toki. Wow, this is incredible. Oh. Yeah. Wow, 22 months. Wow, you've been subscribed for 22 months. How is that possible? That is amazing. But yeah, I'm really excited for this Nintendo Direct. When was the last one? I don't even know when the last one was. Has to have been at least like three months ago. I don't know. Can you play Doors later? I will consider it. Did it get updated? Because yeah, I know it was supposed to get updates. Whoa, that is pretty cool. I might. I will think about it. I'm not sure yet though. So uh, don't get your hopes up. But yeah, just got eight minutes until the Nintendo Direct. I'm not used to having these in the afternoon. I'm used to uh, waking up at like a really ridiculous time in the morning and then just being really tired the whole time. So this is a new experience. Oh, is Chainsaw Man over? Wow. Yeah, my my sister has this friend in Arizona and she came over to stay with us for a week or something. And... I know she was really into Chainsaw Man. That's pretty cool. Is there going to be another season or is it just like a one, just a one season thing? Okay, probably. This is so sad. Well, why is my microphone so far away from me? I can't believe you can even hear me. Okay, I'm moving it closer. There. Maybe I sound different now. Roughly 40 minutes of information. Wow, it's going to be 40 minutes long. So what games do you want to see? I personally don't know what I want to see. I have no expectations. Farming Direct 2. Yeah, I hope we get like 10 more farming games announced this time. Um, in all seriousness, though, um, I wouldn't be surprised if we got, like, Pikmin 4. Yeah, Pikmin 4 information. Um, what about Metroid Prime 4? What do you think the odds of that are? I'm, I'm thinking, like, there's, like, a 20% chance we're going to get any information at all on Metroid Prime 4. Oh, hi. Like, you're on your ultimate downfall. Yeah, I hit rock bottom, but now I I'm at the top again, so I'm good. Oh, you changed your name. Whoa, you changed your name, Mr. Foie. Oh, I love it. That's a really cool... Yeah, I, I like that name. It's good. I think it's better. Okay, so you think 27% chance of Metroid Prime 4? I'm just going with 20%. We'll see who's closer. And then, of course, the big one, Breath of the Wild uh, 2, more furries. Um, I think that one is, I think we're pretty likely to get information about that. Like, I'm like 65% sure about us getting Breath of the Wild 2 information. It, imagine how funny it would be if they just didn't give us any more information about it. I could see them doing that. Whoa, five minutes. Five minutes left. So excited. For any day now, it's going to start. Nice emoji. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. When does that come out again? I for gore. 
Really, I'm just more excited for Octopath Traveler 2 more than anything else, because like that game comes out in 16 days. So honestly, I don't really care that much about anything in this direct unless they announce something new that's like really cool. Oh, February 24th. Okay, yeah, that's literally the same day that Octopath Traveler 2 comes out. No, it's it's gonna be so good. You have no idea. You have a sand ability. See if I care. Breath of the Wild 3. Yeah, they should just release like a Breath of the Wild 3 um like gotcha game or something in this direct. Before Breath of the Wild 2 even comes out. I think that'd be just kind of a no-brainer on their part. But yeah, I, I really don't care that much about anything they announced in this direct, which is kind of a first. Usually there's like something I'm excited about, but like, I mean, they already announced the Octopath Traveler game last time. And that's all I care about. Mario Odysseus. Yeah, man, like, even if they announced Mario Odysseus to the Iliad, um, I, I feel like, well, I, I would care, obviously. I would care. Just like all my hype is directed towards Octa Traveler. I I can't control it. Three minutes left. This is the longest ten minutes of my life. Just waiting. Mario would be Hector and Bowser would be Achilles. Whoa, I haven't read the Odyssey in like, like, 12 years or something. So I have no idea what any of the characters names in the Odyssey are. Oh, wait, I think one of their names was just Odysseus or something. Yeah, I don't think there's a dude named Hector from that. Oh, it's from the Iliad. Okay, yeah, I didn't read that. I just read the Odyssey when I was in like sixth grade or something i don't remember if we read the iliad but i was aware of its existence so yeah but yeah give us super luigi iliad and I, I think that'd make this a pretty good direct two minutes left Two minutes. Let's see if my easy button. Oh wait, no, it was the nut button that stopped working, right? I think it was the nut button. Nut. Oh no, no, it was my bad. It was the easy button that stopped working. Yeah, it's just just doesn't work. I should just throw this out. It doesn't even do anything. So yeah, yeah, rip easy button. I've had that for so long. I don't remember why I got it in the first place. I think I just thought it was funny when I was a kid, because it is. And I just kept it around for like, yeah, like half my life or something. and just never really used it until I started streaming. And now it just doesn't work. Yeah, I've had it way longer than the nut button. I've only had the nut button for like two or three years. I got it during, uh, like while I was streaming at some point. So yeah, it would have been like two years ago. No, unfortunately, I was not. I wanted to be born with the nut button in hand. But I just wasn't that lucky. But alas, um, the Nintendo Direct's going to start any second now. Any second. Waiting for the countdown. Just checking to make sure I'm not paused. Okay, it says it's four on my phone. And yet, the Nintendo Direct has not started. What could this mean? Um, are they late? Or, oh, okay, wait, here it is. Due to COVID, release dates might change. I forgot COVID was a thing. Whoa. My volume's loud. I'm gonna turn that down. Okay, okay, that's loud. So, Pikmin. Oh my god, it's Pikmin, it's Pikmin's 4. 
Whoa, there it is. Might have to play Pikmin 3 in advance. We'll see. Oh, I hate those things. The, the flamethrower things. Oh, I like the, uh, the, the atmosphere. Who's that? Oh my god. What is that thing? I don't like that. I don't like it. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> who, who's that? Who is that? No idea. That is not Olimar, though. Wow. Looks really nice, though. Not the character, but just the rest of the game. I want to see some other Pikmin. Ice? Oh, yeah, it's like it's like Rock Pikmin, but ice. Whoa, you can like... Okay, so you can freeze enemies and stuff. That's kind of cool. I like that idea. Whoa. Can you just freeze water? Whoa. That is... That is the weirdest dog I've ever seen. Oh, okay, I thought the dog was talking. Or maybe it was. I don't know who that was. Shepard. Also a new character, I guess. Colin? I'm gonna have to be out here named Colin. Oh, yeah, I remember this thing. Oh yeah, I remember that thing too. They got a lot of returning stuff from like Pikmin 2. Yeah, I agree. Oh, that's a cool message I just got in my chat. Real cool. Yay, Pikmin 4. What is happening? Return of the Water Blob. Oh my god. <laughs> Not sure what that was. Nice. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I like the uh, Ice Pikmin. And I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Hi. That was the latest trailer for Pikmin 4. Yep. I don't think it's actually a dog. Oh, I have captions. Please look forward to more information in the future. I'll just turn it off. Let's see our first batch. No, get, get out. Get out. Okay. I didn't even notice I had captions on, but who cares? This new hero is a real Okay, time for uh 10,000 games we don't care. Oh. No, people do care about this actually. I I didn't realize uh, Xenoblade 3 was still getting content. Can't believe you committed theft, Milk. Yeah, too bad I've never played Xenoblade. You might also get so outfits as a reward. I'm getting nothing out of this, sorry. Four later this year. Tell me Whoa. Why. Oh, it's Sephiroth. Really what you want. Nothing's gonna get through to him. He's a heartless machine. Wow, Sephiroth and Xenoblade. Like killing Grandad wasn't enough for you. Volume three of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 expansion pass for the Whoa. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 15th. Very cool. Okay, now the games that no one cares about, I'm assuming. Just Dance. Just Dance for Furries. Grab 
your Joy-Con controllers and gently shake them like maracas to match the target. Whoa, it's a maraca rhythm game. Follow the That's new. Screen to pose and dance. No, I haven't, Milk. I've never seen that. Oh, you used to play this? So stay on your toes. I've never seen this before. Why not dance with a friend to predict your compatibility in Love Checker? What? <laughs> A rhythm game. Make sure okay. You show up in style too. Compete online in oh, nice. I got online. Those with the lowest scores in each round will be eliminated. Keep I just like the concept of this game. Place. Just like that it's maracas. Songs are included, spanning a multitude of genres from around the world. So grab those controllers and get shaken when Samba de Amigo Party Central shimmies onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Neato. All right, what's next? Got a passion for fashion? All right, it begins. Welcome to Fashion Dreamer. This is the place Whoa. to warm it up and express yourself. Here you'll learn to that location. A stylish influencer. And you're in luck. Tons of you're willingly rewatching Breaking Bad. We'll have fun. Give them a like if you dig their style, or suggest new outfits for them to grow as an influencer. Oh, it's Animal Crossing. I don't like this new voiceover dude. For fashion design. I didn't even notice it was a different guy. I mean, I don't remember who it was last time. Design options. Then add a personal touch to give. Yeah, he kind of does sound like a tool. I hear it. You can get the items other people are wearing by liking them. Oh well. Mix and match your favorites to create new looks. By connecting online, you can expand. Having so much fun right now. And grow your brand. Got an eye for fashion? Then get styling. When Fashion Dreamer debuts, I'm sure at least uh, at least one person will get this game. Worlds. What could it be? Oh, okay, it's like a. Oh, okay, it's like a Castlevania thing. Venture through the castle's hellish halls and outskirts alongside Richter Belmont and Alucard, leading up to a showdown with Death and Dracula himself. Wield the vampire killer and other iconic weapons as you vanquish legions of monsters. I know nothing about Castlevania. I think it's kind of like Metroid. I don't really know. From the Castlevania series accompany you during your quest in Dead Cells. Return to Castlevania. You would buy that? No, I wouldn't. I'm assuming you're talking about the fashion game. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I really hope they announce Super Mario 4. New grid in this narrative puzzle adventure set within the Tron universe. Uncover dangerous truths and retrieve what was lost as you navigate through a perilous world. And those truths look so dangerous. The alliances you forge will impact your journey and the entire server. Tron Identity launches first for consoles on Nintendo Switch this April. Who's there? Wait, is that? Well, that can't be good. The time I have nothing to say about this. Returns in HD. After kicking the bucket and I, I like this narrator, actually. He's just trying his hardest. Objects. With your powers, you can even help others like this woman and change any ill-fated... Uh... Fates. Ghost trick. Phantom detective. What is happening? Nintendo Switch this summer. Fast forward. I wish that were possible. Two connected worlds. One suspenseful thriller. No way. I know. It's like so shocking. Whoa, he is Tokyo drifting. Anime. Yeah, no, I, I cannot. I just cannot speed it up. That's what Nintendo Drex are. It's two good announcements, nothing, and then like one good announcement at the end. Word art online. 
I've never actually seen that, but I am aware of it. Go into the YouTube settings, you can fast forward. No, I don't think I can because it's a live stream. Gun art online. Oh yeah, like where are the swords at? Oh, I didn't even notice there were captions at the bottom of the screen. Imagine if they just didn't have captions. The whole thing is just in Japanese and no one knows what's going on. I mean, none of these games look bad, it's just I just don't really care about them. Experience Bayonetta's origins as a young witch. The fast forward premieres. Yeah, I think this is a live stream, right? I actually don't know, but probably a live stream. I'm going to that forest. I'm going to become a witch and save mummy. British. There, she'll encounter the otherworldly demon Cheshire. You'll control both witch and demon at the same time. Harness erases magic. Hmm, I wonder if I could fast forward. Actually, no, there, there's no way that would work. Mysterious and dangerous forest. You guys are liars. They'll need to work together in battle as well. You can fast forward. Let's find out. Did that work? Cheshire attacks. I don't know if that I don't think that did anything. Strategically use each in settings to win battles. Wait, let me see this. Uh, playback speed? Is that what you mean? I can try speeding it up. Oh, wow. This really works. Oh, my God. You can do that? No way. <laughs> Only for a bit. Oh, okay. Oh, sh. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. How do I get that to go away? Okay. <laughs> Things happening. Ride rail. Octo expansion 2. Whoa. Wait, this is like Splatoon 1. Oh, this is Splatoon 1's hub, isn't it? What is this? What is happening? Splatoon 3 expansion pass. Literally just Splatoon 1. What is happening? What is this? This paid DLC includes two waves of content. What is this though? Make this splat-tastic place from the original Splatoon game your stomping grounds. What is this? This is Booyah Base. It's got some pretty new Who are these people? Gear. You might spot a few familiar wow. faces alongside new shop. What is this? Products here are the same as the ones in Splatsville. So shop wherever your vibes are strongest. I'm so confused. Table turf battle. The show. Oh, is it just a different hub? Maybe it just changes the hub? I don't know. So it might just be a cosmetic thing? I'm not sure. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's mainly just a cosmetic thing, I guess, but I mean... The first wave of this paid DLC you know, this spring. it's cool. I stopped playing Splatoon 3 a while ago, so I did I mean, I'd probably be a lot more angry if I... Oh, what's this? Yeah, it's like, why are they putting all their effort into making a new hub when they could be doing new gameplay stuff? But this is something. Wow. I like whatever this is. Hmm. 
Look at those colors. Hide order. Oh, I love the uh, the environment here. I want to know more about that. Wave one, there, there's no way anyone really cares about the uh, Inkopolis thing. Side order will launch in the future. I mean, it's like mildly interesting, but like, why they put so much time into making that when they could be making new gameplay stuff? Like I said, though, I haven't played it in a while, so I just don't really care that much. Thank you all very much. You're welcome. We hope players will be able to enjoy the game even more with the upcoming paid expansion pass. Please look forward to more information about Splatoon 3 in the future. Okay, I will. See some more Nintendo Switch headlines. All right. Um, I'll try. Yeah, it's a. Uh, Winky Mouse. That's uh that is his name. We'll see if I can uh let's see what happens. Let's see how long I can do this for. So wait, is there no limit to the amount of time you can just speed stuff up? Oh, okay, it's normal again. Okay, so I guess I was just kind of behind or something. So yeah, I think we have to watch it at the normal speed now. There's a limit. Yeah, I see. At least I got to skip a little bit. That was nice. Yeah, let's talk about Splatoon for a second. Why did they... Why did they spend so much time on the, uh... The Inkopolis thing? That, I mean, I'm just so... <laughs> like, I don't really care, but I feel bad for anyone who's still playing Splatoon 3 right now. While exploring the island, you'll meet unusual allies and dangerous foes. I know, I'm so glad we're finally getting this game. Study their movements carefully to figure out this is like... To victory. Like, screw Octopath Traveler 2. So this is my new, most anticipated game of 2023. Am I going to open the Minecraft realm? I do not know. Um, I don't know. Probably not anytime soon. Oh, it's Fire Emblems. New emblems are cool. To waves of the Fire Emblem yeah, I'm totally going to stream Octopath Traveler 2 the day it comes out. Um, so yeah, no Minecraft Realms yet. Maybe when I'm done. I don't know. Actually, know some of these characters from when I played Fire Emblem Heroes. Modify the terrain to hinder enemies. The, uh, that one. The milk. Three includes Marth. Robin, emblem of bonds. Overwhelm foes with sword and magic attacks. Veronica, oh, wasn't she like the main villain of additional allies to Emblem Heroes? Challenge newly added missions to recruit these new emblems. Are they actually called emblems? That's actually what they're called. They are the Fire Emblems. Thank you for answering our prayers. Who is it that's putting your world in danger now? Watch out! I don't know what Nama Factory is. Never heard of it. That was nice. Just buffered a little. Fire Emblem Engage game launches on the Nintendo Switch system later today. Wait, that game's out? <laughs> I didn't even know the game was out. Take control of your destiny. This is Reverie, a world in which deities known as aspirations dwell. When a mega I sleep. Dangers the harmony between Reverie and our world. Can you study English? Oh wait, no me factory? It looks like it's not the factory. I don't know. To travel between worlds. See the future and decide humanity's fate. Well, I already can be the future and decide humanity's fate, so I don't really need to play this game to experience that. Set the stage for your journey. Eventually, you'll side with one of the six aspirations like Bond, power, or chaos to change the story's outcome. Did they say one of the characters' names was Bog? I didn't really 
whatever i don't care first for consoles on nintendo switch this june oh it's modded minecraft i was wondering what that was i've never really been into modded minecraft i'd rather just play normie vanilla minecraft <gasps> everyone shut up and that sprite art is so cool. So much more animated. Whoa, what is that location? Man, like, the animated sprite art is amazing. They did not have that in the first game. Alright, that's the only good thing that's happened this direct so far. You guys just don't get it. A zoo and space? New features include playing as the young king of all cosmos in five new challenges. Stream the demo. Wait, is there a demo? Wait, demo for what? We love Katamari Reroll plus Royal Reverie comes to Nintendo Switch June 2nd. In addition, active Nintendo Switch online members can play a free game trial of Katamari Damashi Reroll. Combine the powers of the sun and moon to fend off evil in this turn-based RPG. Man, it's all downhill from here. Unless we get something good at the end. It'll probably just be like 30 seconds of Breath of the Wild 2 footage. Complement your journey with enchanting melodies and retro-inspired tunes from the renowned Yasunori Mitsuda, a guest composer for the game. Sea of Stars sails onto Nintendo Switch August 29th. A free demo will launch later today on Nintendo eShop. Duke it out in this free-to-play online multiplayer showdown. Form two teams of three and challenge others to lightning fast battles. I hate sports. Style. Use each striker's skills to dominate each match. Change the course trajectory from afar. Block we'll smash the gooey advantage. one. I won't. Thank you very much. Or knock opponents out of the arena with explosive moves. Omega Strikers slides onto Nintendo Switch April I like the variation in the character designs. Um, that's something. Definitely something. Anime. Into the sprawling labyrinth. A collection of the first three Etrian Odyssey games is coming to Nintendo. Is this foreshadowing for Mario Odyssey 2? Many treasures like deep. first we get Etrian Odyssey 3. Its paths are intertwined. And vicious monsters lurk in the I, th I think this is foreshadowing. We're gonna get Mario Odyssey 2. By drawing the map as you explore, you can progress even further. Venture hmm. into the labyrinth with five adventurers. As the guild leader, you'll assign them roles like the ally defending protector or the ultra fast dark hunter. But be warned, every adventure is fraught with danger. Should you fall in battle, you can change your team and learn new skills to strengthen your party before challenging the labyrinth again. Of my swivel chair. I can just swivel. Character illustrations are included. Yeah, cat jam. Plus, take advantage of new difficulty. Looks like a neat game. And a new auto mapping function for smoother exploration. Etrian Odyssey Origins Collection launches on Nintendo Switch June 1st. Each game in the collection will also be available separately on Nintendo Oh, did not realize there were three games. I had never heard of it before. On Nintendo eShop. Get your tactical skills ready. Is this that one game that got calling all strategy fans? Wasn't this a oh yeah, that <laughs> got hella delayed because of uh war, I think. Sammy. That was pretty funny. Remember that? I remember. Turn-based tactical action. Flex your strategic muscles across a multitude of modes. Design your own maps and share them with friends. Plus, go head. Oh. Okay. They haven't actually shown any gameplay, have they? They didn't even show any gameplay in that trailer. They just showed like some animations. Begin today on Nintendo eShop. <gasps> Smagor. A new story will unfold in the Kirby's Return to Dreamland. New story? Wait. 
something new happening. Lore, the interdimensional traveler from the main adventure has lost his powers and must escape the realm between dimensions. Whoa. <laughs> really? Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, you get to, get to be sad, Magalore. Look how sad he looks. To regain Magalore's powers, you'll need to collect magic points. It's amazing. He's like I can't believe you play as him. Abilities can be restored and enhanced. Improve Magalore's levitation. Like why do we even want to help Magalore? Attack range. The order in which you restore his This is amazing. Is up to you. There are over 20 interdimensional stages to explore. And this actually kind of makes me want to get it. Up to four players on the same system can venture through this oh, cool. mysterious realm and have together. up to four Magalors. Can Magalore restore his powers and safely return to his world? You can access this new epilogue. I mean, why do I want him to safely return to his world? Yeah, Magalore really is the best character. Whoa. Wait. Whoa. Wait. Demo will be available on Nintendo eShop. Oh. Up to four players. I didn't recognize that world map. Demo it's been so long since I played it. Kirby's return to Dreamland Deluxe. There's moves from the Star Allies DLC. Oh, nice. I didn't play that game long enough to know. Now on Nintendo eShop. We hope you're looking forward to the news. Oh, is there a demo for that? Big of true. Next, here's some news about Nintendo Switch Online. Please oh. take a look at this. I will. I'll, I'll take a look at it. Oh, Game Boy games. Only took like five years for them to add this. Game Boy games are being added to Nintendo Switch Online. There actually are some good Game Boy games. On Nintendo Switch. Oh, cool. <laughs> you don't even have to get the. You don't even have to get the remake. You can just. You can just play this. Tetris. The games that will be available at launch. Tetris. Arrange the falling Tetraminos and aim for a high score. Keep buying. I already have a subscription to it. Mario Land 2 is actually a pretty good game. Like how floaty Mario is. It's fun. Wait. Oh yeah, this is a Game Boy Color game. Do you think they might add the Oracle games? I think they actually might. Gargoyle's quest. Eventually. Save the ghoul realm as firebrand from the ghosts and goblins. Oh yeah, I don't know if this is for Switch Online Plus or the regular one. An assortment of Game & Watch titles. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get it just for the Game & Watch games. The new nightmare. Gotta have those. Solve a murder mystery on the supernatural Shadow Island. Metroid 2 Return of Samus. Destroy the Return of Sam's. on planet SR388. These are some, some amazing graphics. The changes between day and night based on your actions. Deluxe Deluxe expansion where you pay extra for Game Boy games. Yeah, I hope they actually do that. Just have to find out. You can use the Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, or Game Boy the... screen filters. Oh, okay, there's screen filters. Compatible games together locally or online. Online Tetris. <gasps> wow, they're really doing that. Nice. It's the Oracle games. Games are underrated. No way! I'm also getting GBA. <gasps> that... Oh, cool. It's, um... The, uh, the game, the minute, the minish cap. You can play at launch. Whoa. Super Mario is this um? Four. Super oh wow. Mario Brothers three. Play thirty <laughs> extra levels from the Nintendo e-reader accessory. I have never heard of Wario that. Mega micro games. Kind of interesting. The origins of the lightning fast micro games. Oh, it's the Smash Bros. stage. Kudu, kudu, kudu Guide the oh yeah, I, the I'm aware of this games. game. Looks like hell. Mario Kart Super Circuit. Race in the first Mario Kart game created for a portable system. Why would I do that to myself? Mario and Luigi oh my god. Star Saga. <laughs> Bringing over so much. This is like a lot. Dude, Mother 3. 
I, I hope they just throw that in. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Man. Got a lot of good stuff here. This actually is a pretty good thing. I just want to know how much it's going to cost. More games will be added to this library as well. I love Kirby and the Amazing Year. You can play these Game Boy titles with the Nintendo Oh, okay. Okay, so you can okay. Or play both Game Boy and Game Boy Advance titles with the Nintendo Switch. So for GBA you need the uh, expansion pack, but for regular Game Boy you can just Yeah. Oh well. Game Boy titles will be playable on Nintendo Switch. And after today's Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to play the Game Boy oh, wow. and Game Boy Advance titles we Later introduced. today. That's cool. Please look forward to more information about Nintendo Switch Online and Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack in the future. Yeah, I already have all those games on my 3DS. So I'm not going to get that MF subscription, but oh well. <gasps> oh, not even the trilogy? Well, whatever. It's cool that they're doing this at all. Um, but it was too late. I emulated it. I, I waited too long. It, it took them too long, so I had to emulate it. They're just too late. This looks beautiful, though. <laughs> Wish they could have could have done the trilogy, but oh well. Dams. Man. Really wish they could have done this sooner. The flashing Metroid logo bug. Oh yeah, I hope so. For the most authentic experience, they gotta add that. This money to play ROMs we just ported from a website. I know, right? The first Metroid Prime game originally. Yeah, about the uh, the Game Boy games. System. Been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Explore Talon 4 from the perspective of Samus Aran. But beware, there's more to this alien planet than meets the eye. I wonder if there's anything new or if it's just like a HP upgrade or HD upgrade. Discover info and clues on how to progress. It does look really good though. Compared to the uh on the situation, the original visor may be required. When hostile creatures attack, keep them in your sights with a lock-on feature. Then fight back with beams. The remaster. I mean, they said it's a remaster, but is it really a remaster, though? Or are they just calling it a remaster? This remaster adds new dual stick controls, allowing you to move around while separately changing your point of view. You can also select a control style that recreates... Like, okay, the better controls was kind of a given, but is that all? Just wondering if there's anything new. Honestly, it's fine to me if they don't. Yeah, okay, it seems like there's not really anything uh, new. More like an HD port, but, you know. Oh, the physical version is going to be available later? It's weird. Put your master Song and Rampa. To the test. This is the World Detective Organization. Yuma, a trainee detective. I remember they talked about this game before. Spirit haunting him will solve the strange incidents within Kanai Ward, a city ruthlessly controlled. By <laughs> I love that weird art style thing where like hair is covering someone's eye, but you can see their eye through their hair. It's really weird. Inside master detectives of the organization. Each one has a supernatural ability that can prove useful during investigation. Inigami, who, whoops, whoops is that? With Isn't that the guy from Death Note? Detect heartbeats and whispers with audio aptitude. And witness past crime scenes with post cognition. These abilities can be shared with Yuma. So this is post cognition. So use them to get closer to cracking a case. After collecting enough evidence, a mystery labyrinth will appear. Does look interesting. Spot the inconsistencies. And I love spotting inconsistencies. Master Detective Archives Rain Code launches on Nintendo Switch June 30th. I might get this. We'll see. We'll see what happens.
Wings of the Heart take flight. Mysteries are fun. A remastered collection of both Botan Kaidos games originally released on the five minutes left. System, oh man, it's four minutes now. After a long Should be getting a biggish announcement Robert, soon. The Empire's we'll see. Looms closer as spirits dwelling within the protagonists. You'll stand up to the Empire across two different eras of war. Yeah, I mean, all I really expect at this point is probably it's probably going to be Breath of the Wild two footage. Locales and team up with like minded allies. Battles are fought using cards called Magnus. Your attack power is determined by the attributes and combinations of your cards, which are randomly dealt from the deck. In these real time, battles, jam. you'll need to make split second decisions to edge closer to victory. What revelations will come to light in the skies above? And the lands below. Rat Jam, nice. Botan Kaidos One and Two HD Remaster soars onto Nintendo Switch. What if they just ended on this game? That'd be funny. Dive into your new fantasy life. Before I even saw that said fantasy life, I my first thought was fantasy life when I saw the art. Remember that game? I do somehow. Women be stealing time. You'll meet a mysterious girl. Whoa, cool uh, color change. And travel between past and present to make the island your own. It's Animal Crossing. Oh my god. Dude, what? This is just this is straight up Animal Crossing though. They even have the terraforming and stuff. Yeah, Animal Crossing, but with more violence. How will you rebuild? This life is yours to live. Yeah, definitely Animal Crossing inspired. I don't know if anyone else noticed. Yeah, Animal Crossing New Horizons, if it was good. Oh yeah, Rabbids logo. That Professor Layton, or whatever his name is. I know nothing about this series, but I do recognize him. Yeah, it's the monkey guy. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh, that's new. What is that? The new map. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! That's so cool! Oh, that looks really cool. <laughs> that is really cool. I love this. New characters? Whoa! Oh my god, and the, the question mark blocks are like the... Oh my god. This is really cool. This is like the best wave so far. Right off the bat. We only need to see one stage to know that this is the best wave. Wow. Well, I am excited for that. Minecraft. You're showing like a bunch of different games. Okay, Minecraft. I literally love Minecraft. Minecraft 2. What is this banging music right now? Oh my god, why are there so many Mega Man games? Oh wow, it's 440 right now, so we must be very close to the one last announcement. This is the Wild 2 or Prime 4. Hmm. 
I'd be way more interested in Prime 4 footage. But I think I'll be... I'll be pleased either way. I mean, I'll be... I'll be pleased if they show Breath of the Wild 2 footage that's actually interesting. But I don't really expect anything. I'm working on Prime 1 remaster. <laughs> yeah, they're just holding off on Prime 4. Is Prime 4 still happening? I don't even know. Thank you for staying with us so far. You're welcome. This will be our last segment. Please take a look. I guess this is it. Yeah, this is Breath of the Wild 2. This is that tornado thing. What are those things? So dark, I can barely see anything. Minecraft. Rise, rise, my servants. Sweep over Hyrule. Eliminate this kingdom and her allies. That Ganondorf. No survivors. I don't know who else's voice that would be. Minecraft enemy. But Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. My ears. have a car there. Hmm. And bought arrows. <laughs> I didn't see. I just wonder why they took so long. Cause like please lend him your power. Five twelve. That's pretty soon. That was the Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom, the latest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. I'm sure, it's gonna be good. My hype for the game has just died, though. <laughs> like years ago. A collector's edition of the game containing various items will release on launch day. I feel like they didn't really show much still, or maybe that's all they have to show. Like maybe there just really isn't much for them to show. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Like, I just wasn't expecting more, you know? I mean, not into this Direct. Mainly just the, the last Direct where they showed Breath of the Wild 2 footage. And this just kind of confirmed what I had already believed to be true. I'm sure it's going to be good. It probably will be. But, like, just based on what they've shown, I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel nothing. And I just want to feel something. I miss feelings. Yeah, I wish I could feel things again. Well, anyway, that was cool. Let's check the chat. I will direct. I think DLC was okay. People are talking about Silk Song. What is that? A lot of people are mentioning Silk Song. <laughs> We're Prime 4. Prime 4 will never happen. Why are people talking about Silk Song? What is Silk Song? Yeah, the, Yoshi the Yoshi's um, Island stage looked really cool. I mean, that just, that's just really cool. I love fan service. I wonder... Hmm, it's kind of funny, like, Breath of the Wild 2 footage was the last thing people were showing, or the last thing that Nintendo was showing, and literally no one's talking about that. Because I think deep down, no one actually cares. Um, 
a few people are mentioning Breath of the Wild 2. Barely any, though. So, uh, there you go. Wait, $70? $70 for what? Wait, did they say Breath of the Wild 2 was $70? They, they didn't, did they? Oh, did they? Wait, I want to see... Um... Various items will release on launch day. A new amiibo figure of Link from this game will also be available on the same day. Oh, it's seventy dollars. We hope you're looking. Wait, I didn't even see it. Link's Where was it? Grand adventure. Did you say here? That's all for today. No. Episodes. Okay, maybe it was over here. The standard version. A Zelda series. It was the Legend of Zelda. Tears of the uh, I didn't see anything. Entry in the Legend of Zelda series. Like they say, pre-orders begin today. In addition to the standard version. A collector's edition of the collector's game. edition. I don't see a price anywhere. The order. Yeah, I I didn't see a price. I don't know. Launch day. A new amiibo figure of Link from this game will also be available on the same day. Yeah, it looks like everyone in the chat was just annoyed by the nothing getting shown in the Breath of the Wild two footage. Wow, everyone is pissed. Thank you for watching. Part of me feels glad about that because I'm glad I'm not alone in uh. In my opinions about Breath of the Wild 2 so far. Anyway. Yeah, I didn't really expect to see anything that really interested me. But, uh... Oh. Hmm. Doors, huh? I don't... I don't... I... I don't... I just... I... I, um... I... 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 Um... Um... I don't. I don't really want to right now. I think I just wanted this to be a direct reaction stream, but you know, maybe, uh, maybe at some other time. I'm definitely gonna stream Octopath Traveler two the day it comes out. So that's February twenty fourth. I might stream something like a few days before that or something. Um. So like maybe I could play it then or something. We'll see. Okay. Breath of the Wild two Yoshi stage and Xeno three. Mm hmm. Um, I really like the, um, <laughs> like, Octopath Traveler 2, like, that wasn't even a new announcement, really, but I just felt more excited for that than anything else when they showed that footage. I don't know, that's just what I, that's just what I'm passionate about. Yeah, Ice Pikmin looked cool. Honestly, though, I'm just not the biggest Pikmin fan. It's like, yeah, I played the first two games pretty recently, I haven't played the third one yet. But yeah, it's like... I feel like it's just not for me. I like the time management stuff. It was more of that in the first game than the second game. But yeah, I mean, I, I like that aspect of it, but I don't like the whole managing the Pikmin and all that. I find it a little bit um, hellish. Like, it's annoying how you spend so much time just racking up your Pikmin numbers and then they all just die at once at some point. I don't know. I will be excited after Pikmin 3. We'll see. We'll see. One game of Minesweeper. Okay, I can I can do that at least. Um, no, I cannot play the Kirby demo now, unfortunately. Alright, show me Minesweeper. Um, oh wow, here we go. Okay, oh god. It scared me. Um, alright, let's do this. I'm assuming I can right click to place flags. Okay, I can. This is exciting. I'm the Minesweeper expert. I'm not really, though. Um, but I'll see what I can do. Yep. This is going really well. Ooh. Um, hmm. I'm really scared I'm going to make the wrong move just because I didn't think something through enough. It's always a fear that I have. It's like you really can't rush Minesweeper. I like these noises, by the way. I forgot one bomb that's known. Did I? Oh, yeah, it's there. Didn't even see that. Okay, good. So I got all the easy stuff out of the way. Um... Yeah, there'd be one here. And that's good. Okay. Very cool. I think I can do this. I'll just uh 
my chat over here so I can read it fully. At least one safe path. Hmm. I know I can get rid of that. There'd be one bomb here. That was scary. Hmm. Is it just me, or am I doing kind of amazing right now? I haven't played Minesweeper in a long time. I wonder if there's a Minesweeper category on Twitch. I don't know why there would be. I gotta say, though, this game is, like, really satisfying. Just feels good. Hmm. Okay. Really don't want to rush anything. I'm so scared. This is way better than the Kirby demo could possibly be. Making a Pepe? No, I don't think I am. Okay. Um, there'll be one here and one here. Okay. So I got that. Hmm. I'm gonna go over here. There's a two. Uh, okay, so yeah, this will be here. Hmm. Really do not want to do this part. But I can. I can do anything. I guessed. Did I? Did I guess? Are you sure? I don't I don't think I guessed. I haven't I haven't like I don't think I've guessed anything. You might have just um miss saw what I did. Like I'm pretty sure I knew what I was doing. But yeah, if I did guess, then I must have made a really good guess. I love that when that happens. Um, okay. Almost there. There's not much left. Um, this will be here. Um, <laughs> I do not like this area. Three. Okay, wait, my brain is dying. Okay, there'll be one here. There won't be one here. Or here. Okay, good. Two paths I see. Yeah, I think I can definitely do this. It's terrifying though. To just fall apart at any second. Okay, so. Um, the three, okay, then this goes here. <laughs> um, I guess I have to do it. Yeah, I did it. Oh my God, I did it. Whoa, they're flowers. 345 seconds. Wow, world record. Dude, I am such a pro. That was like, like, wow. I am, I am so good at this. Wow. Minesweeper's fun. You did 344. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Oh, they also have like, yeah, I'm aware they have some games that you can literally just use on Google. These also work on mobile. Can you just play Pac-Man anytime?
Oh, it's Google Pack. Man, I haven't done this. I've never seen this. Controls well. The original arcade game controls terribly. Hmm, I think I should just... Yeah, I'm just gonna go in here. This is thrilling. Hmm, okay. It doesn't seem too hard, I think. Yeah, pretty easy. I'm gonna get that cherry for the meme. Okay. I'm a little scared here, but not like that scared. I'm not getting that other cherry. I don't trust myself. I'll be playing Doors right now. This is so much better than Doors, dude. This is like real video game gameplay. Oh, wow. I might have screwed myself. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> oh, no, no. Don't go that way. Okay. So, uh, I don't want to go that way. I'm trying really hard not to corner myself. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. No! <laughs> I was doing so good. Oh my god. Dude, I, I have to win, okay? Oh, cool. They just revived me. Eh, I almost walked right into that. Okay, I just, I wanted to go for it. Come on, just give me a third life for no reason. Easy. First try. Let's go. I'm an expert. That was fun. They should make they should make Pac-Man games where there's more than one stage like this. Like this is cool because it's like a different it's a different thing. It's got the Google logo. Where are there not more? Oh yeah, Snake. I gotta play Snake. That's a classic. My first experience with this game was like a version of this that they had on Webkins or something. I forgot. It's fun. I just hate the edges. The edges are so scary because you just get a game over if you hit the edge. There's modes. No way. I'll just play this round first. They did a really good job at making these games. They're all so polished. It's really cool that they also work on mobile. Well, I don't know if all of them work on mobile. I haven't tried all of them, but I know Minesweeper does anyway. Oh, you can have up to five food at once. Oh, that sounds way better. I'm going to kill myself. Um, where are those modes? Oh, you can change the fruit. <laughs> you can have mushrooms. Why do they have so many options? <laughs> I don't even know why they have so many. I'm going to do the mushrooms because that's, that's fun. I don't know what any of these mean, though. These are just images. Like, what even are these? What is this? Oh my god, why are there so many? There's so many options. What is this stuff? Okay, I'll just do a... Oh, wait, is, is there a portal? Oh, yeah, a portal. Oh, that's probably cool. There's a bigger stage. I guess I can be a turtle or something somehow. Um, Might be color. Do the rainbow one. Um, They have different themes for the levels, I guess. Let's do... um. Do forest theme and I'll be Minecraft. Whoa. Man, there's so much like customization in this. I love that. Oh, oh no. That's what the portal mode is? That's not what I expected. <laughs> I thought I was gonna. Oh, turtle is speed. Oh, I didn't realize that. This sucks, dude. Like it teleports you every time you get it. You get one of these and you don't know where it's gonna teleport you. You might just die as soon as you teleport. I hate this. I hate this. No, this is bad. You you do not you do not want this. Let's try cheese. What the hell? What the Oh, that's so weird. That's so weird. Oh my god. So wait, can I just go through myself? Oh wow, you can. Okay, that's really interesting. Yeah, I gotta try all of these. This is like genuinely interesting to me right now. God, I can't even get that mushroom on the left. This mode really is a double-edged sword. It's like, yeah, you can go through yourself, but you can also just, like... 
you, you can't like turn everywhere and it depends on how you're positioned it's weird and i kind of hate it i'm gonna die yeah um let's try a better setting what, what's this brick wall one? Oh. Okay, it creates obstacles around the level. Kind of like this one. I'm sure it'll get interesting when I get more mushrooms. This is like the ultimate version of Snake that there ever was. I'm going to lose so hard. You got Guinness? What? No way. I didn't know Guinness was on Mude. That's incredible. Actually, this is taking too long. I'm going to uh, make the uh, the stage smaller. Well, I'll just have it be like the standard size. What is this one? Oh, dear God. Oh, wait, is this? Okay, this is looping. Oh, I see. Okay, so there's no walls. You just kind of loop. That is so weird. Yeah, it's really trippy. Yeah, the fact that it it's like zoomed in makes it so much more confusing. Like they didn't really have to make it zoom in. But they, they just kind of did. Eating so many mushes. At least I don't have to worry about crashing into walls. Because no one likes that. This is the most fun I've had in, like, forever. I'm doing it. Mm. <laughs> Do not like this. I think I'm doing really good right now, though. I'm surprised I've gotten this far. Oh my god. Snake is way too long. <laughs> I'm just kind of stuck going... Oh, no, no. Aww. Okay, it was a good run. I got to 99. Why couldn't it be 100? I kind of messed up. Um, I think it went really well overall, though. Let's try this mode. Is that two snakes? What is this? Does it... Oh, okay, so the stake turns back backwards, so the tail becomes the front. I, I hate this. Um, let's try this one. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Wow, okay, so the, the fruit just flies around. The yin yang one. Okay, there's a two snakes mode. I was thinking that could be like a good idea. Does it count if the yellow one gets the fruit? I wanna try. Okay, yeah, so both snakes can get fruit. Very interesting. I think like ideally you just want like one snake to stay on the left and one to stay on the right. Yeah, as long as you do that, you're probably okay. I like this gradient, by the way. It's nice. There's a key. What the hell is this? Oh. So locks appear, and then you have to get these things to get rid of them. Wow. That is real confusing. I kind of like it. Hey, there's so many modes. There's so many. What is this? Oh, what? What? I'm very confused. What did 
Oh wait, okay, so I have to push this into the uh <laughs> This is so this is the worst mode, but I, I love it. It it's so impractical. It's it's just really funny. Wonder what the world record for this actually is. Oh my god. Yeah, that, that's so chaotic. What is this? Okay, there's evil fruit. Does that just kill you? Oh, okay, so it, it doesn't straight up kill you, but it makes your movement really unstable. Just kind of... Oh god. Um... What about this one? <laughs> what? Oh, so you can see where the... F okay, so every time you get a... Okay, I see. So every time you get a carrot, you can see where the next ones are going to appear. Okay, I, I see how it works. Oh, but also, every time you do it, the back of your tail disappears. Or part of it does, anyway. It's kind of confusing. Um, very interesting. What's this? What? Um, wait, what? Am I not supposed to... Wait, what is that? Am I not supposed to go in there? Oh, I, I just... Wait, no, I don't even know. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's Minesweeper. Oh, yeah, it looks like Minesweeper. Okay, wait, so how does this work? I'm confused. Okay, so you don't want to touch the flag, but you can, like, touch any part. Wait. No, I'm, I'm, I am confused. Okay, so you have to go into the zone, but then leave before touching the flag to get rid of it. I get it now. Interesting. Wait, okay, I didn't even touch the flag that time. Oh, you can only move three squares. Okay, yeah. Just learned that the hard way. What is this? Oh, what? Okay, I, I see how it works. Um, wait, let me try that, but not die instantly this time. Okay, as parts of the snake kind of die. The length of your tail seems to uh, stay the same length. The, or, I mean, it seems to get longer still. This probably gets hard real fast. Yeah, I kind of like this one. Um, let me make it a small stage. I think that'll be better. Um, and I'll just change the fruit again. Let's do eggplants. Okay, what about this one? Is this just like a visual thing? Um, it just looks... Oh, wait, you can't see your tail. Okay, I just realized you can't see your tail in the dark. Yeah, and you can't see fruit anymore after it spawns in. Like, there's there's a light. You can see when it spawns in, but then it just quickly goes away. Make it huge. Eh. Um, too big. What is this one? Got a peace sign. Can you not die or something? Oh, okay. Wait, can I, can I crash into myself? Oh, okay, this is, um... This is basic bitch mode. I'm gonna win on this one. It's nice that they have this mode. It's good for practice, I think. Okay. Love those colors. They just go well together. And the, the gradient just looks nice. Just want to get to a point where, like, the eggplants can't spawn anymore. Oh, okay, I think I got all of them. 87. I guess that's the maximum you can get on the small map. Okay, here's the last one. Blender. Um, so this kind of just reminds me of the cheese one, but... Okay, it's like the cheese one mixed with... Okay, the, I see why it's a blender. They're like blending a bunch of different ideas together. Yeah, I, I see how it works.
Is there anything else in settings? Or... Oh yeah, I should have used different themes. Whoa, this one has a bunch of different types of fruit. I didn't even notice. Wait, what setting are you talking about? Enable them all. I mean, you can't though, right? Oh, wait. Oh, I see it. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> you just do every single one. Oh. Uh... <laughs> uh... Uh, uh. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh my god. I got one point. Ah, Minesweeper. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm still alive. Oh wait, I can't die, can I? I just realized I don't think I can die. Yeah, I, I can't even die. But let me turn off the invincibility mode. Um, we're... Yeah, okay, so... This one. Okay, let's see what happens. Ah, that was fast. Wait, one more try. I can win this. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it's so trippy. Ah. Horrible. Okay, I think that's enough sneak. That was really fun, though. What else do they have? Animal sounds? Wait, guys, we gotta play animal sounds. Wow. This is gameplay. What do sharks... Do they even make sounds? <laughs> Just splashing noises. Yeah, I, I was wondering what they were gonna do. How many do they have? They have a decent amount, actually. This is where you go on Google when you're just completely bored and have literally nothing else to do. But it's fun. Scorpion? Oh, it's got the crawling noise. Okay. Oh, do they have cat? I want to... They, they gotta have cat. Where is cat? Oh, it's in alphabetical order. Is that really the noise that a cat makes? Not what I was expecting. Got two more blahages. Wow, you have way too many. No one needs that many. But go off. Okay, this was fun. Uh, what else we got? Solitaire! I wanted to play Solitaire. I've been getting back into Solitaire. Easy or hard? No medium? I'm just gonna go with easy because I'm too scared. Dude, I love Solitaire. Watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna play so well. Um, probably not going to play that well, though. Um, okay. Used to be good at it. Yeah, like, yeah, I kind of got out of it, but I got back into it lately. I'm still kind of rusty, but I'm, uh, I'm kind of okay at it. Like, I picked up some strategies here and there. Yeah, I don't know how to play most card games. This is one of the very few card games that I actually know how to play. It's kind of trippy at first. Like, once you learn how to play it, it gets really fun. I don't get why you can't just use cards that are at the back of the deck. Like, why do you have to keep going and, like, go around in a loop just to use the card? I never understood that about Solitaire. Just don't really get why they do that. Also, I didn't notice I could move that there. Okay. That is good. Okay, I guess I'll put this here just so I can move this. Noise. I really want to move that red eight, but I don't know how. It must be really fun to watch. I bet you guys are just like having a lot of fun. So much fun, really. Uh, just watching me play this. I'm sure you're all paying attention to every move I'm making because it's so easy to follow. Okay, cool. Got another thing here. Okay, um, guess I can put this king down. 
Hmm. I really want to get rid of that red eight. There's a good chance I'm going to lose. I don't know what to do with this. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I can't use that. Never mind. Okay, let's see what we got here. Honestly, I doubt I'm going to win with this. Hmm. Hey, do I have a black queen anywhere in here? That'd be really helpful. Yeah, okay, so I can do that, and then... Wait, no, what I really want is a black jack, actually. I see that now. Oh, wait, there's one literally right there. Okay, okay. Um, I have a red 10, or... Damn it, I don't think I have a red... Oh, wait, no, I do. Okay, this is a red 10. Okay, if I can get a black 9, that would... Or really any 9. Yeah, I'll take... Okay, yeah, either one. Okay, good, so I can put that there, and I can move this, finally. Damn it, why'd it have to be a 6? Do I have a red five? Five of hearts. Good. Going to watch um, Breaking Bad. You do that. Why don't you? Okay, what else? What else might one do in this situation? I don't have any queens. Like, I either need to move that 8 or that 10. And, uh... Hmm. Do I have a red 9? Nope, there's just no red 9s in here. Well, if I could move this... If I can get rid of this 8, then... Like, do I have a 6 of spades? If I have a 6 and 7... No, I... Okay, I, I don't think there's anything else I can do. I'm just gonna check one more time. Oh, wait. Okay, so I can do this. I don't think it's gonna lead to anything, though. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Now I'm getting somewhere. Okay, yeah. I win. Well, I'll win in a second. I have to just put down the rest of these cards. Yeah, I have this app called cardgames.io, and that's what got me back into Solitaire. They have like a billion different games. It's really cool. Yay. Your winner moves 120. I do be using 120 moves. Spin a dreidel. Oh man, am I gonna go to hell if I do this? Dude, I, I can't resist. I gotta spin that dreidel. Hey. Sup. Let's spin it again. Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it! I got none. I got nothing. Wait, what do they mean? L let's see what they mean. Dreidel's design is a... Okay, wait. Um... Okay, so there's none, yeah. There's none, gimel, he, and shin. Which together stands for neskadol hayashan, meaning a great miracle happened there. So what's the point of spinning it? I don't understand the point of spinning it. Like, is one of these good? How is this a game? Like, is one of these, like, particularly good? Like, if I get none, is that, like... Does that mean I'm going to, like, die soon? Or does it mean I'm going to have, like, good fortune? Am I going to, like, meet the love of my life soon? 
I, I don't know how this works. Like, what's the point of spinning this? I'm gonna die? Like, maybe I am. I don't know. Like, okay, wait. Um, spin the dreidel. Hmm. What do the sides mean? Um, that's the description I saw before. What do they mean rules? Like, how does this game have rules? That doesn't make sense. I don't, <laughs> I don't get it. They're telling me what they're called, but they aren't telling me what any of this means. Okay, how about this? How... Do you play spin the dreidel? Oh, okay, here's something. Oh, is it like gambling? Wait, let, let's, we gotta see this. You need a dreidel, at least two or more players, and coins, candy, or any other kind of token for betting. Okay. Divide the tokens evenly amongst the players. 10 each is a good starting point. Each player bets one token to begin the game. Then, players take turns spinning the dreidel. Each of the Hebrew letters on the dreidel represent an action for players to take on their spin. Okay. If the dreidel lands on none, you do nothing. Okay, that's easy and to remember. A means you win half of the pot. If there are an odd number of tokens, round up one. If the dreidel lands on shin, you have to add one additional token into the pot. Landing on Gimel means you win everything. Okay. All of the so Gimel's the, the best. The it's the longest is, words that's to easy to remember. Token. Everyone adds an additional token to the pot. After every player has had one spin, everyone adds another token to the pot to commence another round of spinning. Okay. The player is out when they have no more tokens to bet, and the game is over when one player has all of the tokens. And that's how to play Dreidel. Hanukkah Can't believe this is even a game. I only want to react to the direct to this stream. Yeah, it's just like all this stuff, these like Google games, they're really easy to get into. Playing doors is more of a commitment. You know, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, okay, wait, I'm going to play spin the dreidel. Let's see what I get. Hey, okay. dude, I win. What a cool game. Uh, what else we got? Memory game. What kind of memory game? Got audio. What the hell just happened? Okay, so it, I know how this game works. It's pretty basic. You just like. Yeah, we all know how this game works. I'm too bored to keep playing it. Fun facts. Oh, please give me a fun fact. Who was the first to walk on the moon? A Neil Patrick Harris? Yeah, it was Neil Patrick Harris. And he stepped there. Okay, what, what else we got? Is there tongue attached to your mouth, I think? Oh, what's the fun fact in the chat? New Jersey had four governors in the span of eight days in early 2002. Oh, that's hilarious. Someone was, oh wow, someone was the governor of New Jersey for 90 minutes. That actually is a very fun fact. Wait, so what is the tongue attached to? I want to know. The hyoid bone? I needed to know that. Do cows have four stomachs? Is that true? Because they have one stomach with four compartments. Okay, so it is just one stomach. Like It'd be kind of messed up if they had more than one. What does jury nullification mean? When a jury acquits a defendant, even though the members of the jury believe the defendant to be guilty of the charges. Is that a thing? Like, why would someone do that? Like, maybe if you were just really empathetic to the, uh, to the guilty party, I guess. I guess it actually kind of makes sense now that I think about it. Country has the longest written constitution. India. Good for them. Um, Lao Tzu. I don't know how that's pronounced. Olive oil flammable? I don't think so. Oh, I guess it is. I mean, it does have oil in the name. Um, this was fun. What else? What else? Are there any more games? There's Tic Tac Toe. <sighs> this game is so pointless. Um, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna win. Actually, no, we're just gonna tie, obviously. Um, as always, that's just how it goes. Oh, wait, no, I actually won. Ah, su stupid CPU. Oh, and they have tools in here. Like, 
roll a die. Kind of weird, you can't even see the numbers on the die until you roll them. What about um, Color Picker? Neat. Wait, what is Spinner? Okay, does it only have names, or can you actually, like... Oh my god, they have a fidget spinner? What is the what is the point, dude? Why do they have a digital fidget spinner on Google? I still remember when those first uh, became a thing. Yeah, too bad you can't actually add things on this. That's what the site Wheel of Names is for. Yeah, this is just for... Uh, this is basically just a different form of a dice roll. You can't change the numbers. Oh yeah, it goes up to 20. But so do dice, so what's the point? Birthday quiz. Ooh, I love quizzes. You have a full drawer of them. I, I've never gotten a fidget spinner. I have no idea what they're like. Wait, what are you up to on a typical Friday night? Oh, okay, they're going to determine which animal I am. On Friday night, I am, yeah, just alone in my burrow. That kind of looks like me, too, in that picture. You and your best friend show up to a party wearing the same outfit. What's your reaction? Um, I'd just be like, eh, that's funny. Um, I guess I'd just be like, no big deal. Who cares? Use a snack. Seafood? No. Fruit and or insects? No. Meat? Yeah, I'm just going with that. What do you look for in a partner? Bright colors. <laughs> yeah, if they just wear bright colors. Um... Like, they're the one. Um, loud grunting sounds. <laughs> I don't... A uh, complex system of glands. Old-fashioned values. Can I just say none of the above? Or... I Okay, so I, I said bright colors as a joke at first, but I think I'm actually going to go with that one because that's somehow better than all the others. So... Choose a hobby. Beats of strength. Work around the house. Um, swimming or none of the above. Um, well, swimming is fun. I like swimming. Okay, I'm a pangolin. What the hell is that? So it's like a... Um, what is that most comparable to? Is that like kind of like an armadillo? I, I should look this up. Pangolin. Wow. Where are those? Why is the pangolin the most trafficked animal? What does trafficking mean outside of human trafficking? Well, this is really cool. Is that me? Okay, so, um. Is there anything else I haven't done? Oh, I think that's actually it. For games and toys, anyway. Um, who wants to see me do... Who wants to see me meditate? We we need to meditate, guys. Bring awareness to your breath. This only lasts one minute, don't worry. Okay, I'm aware of my breath. <gasps> this is going really well. I feel so relaxed right now, guys. I feel so much better. So I guess this just goes on a loop for like a minute or just kind of keeps going. What is the 478 sleep trick? What is that? Close your mouth and quietly inhale through your nose to a mental count of four. Hold your breath for a count of seven. I wonder who came up with these numbers. Okay, I can't wait long enough. Let's try the metronome. Oh, it just like, I think this is for like music. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, like BPM, flip a coin. <laughs> this is great. All right, guys, what do you think it's gonna be? Can we just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a poll. 
Um, let's do that. Let's see, heads or tail. Oh wait, no, I can make a prediction for this. That'd be better. How do you set up a prediction? Oh, here it is. We're gonna make a prediction. Um. Okay, heads or tails. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure Milk did leave because he's kind of a stupid idiot. But I'm I'm still gonna run this anyway. Okay, let's do this. Okay, heads or tails. What is gonna happen? When I see the new doors stuff, like maybe some other day, but not today. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna stop soon. I'm just gonna check the rest of the tools. All right, I can't use channel points. All right, three. Oh wow. Okay, three thousand eight hundred ninety for uh, that. All right, let's see what happens. Oh my god, it was heads. Unbelievable. Um, I don't even know how to. I don't know how this. I don't know how to. Um. You're probably not even gonna lose any channel points because I have no idea how predictions work. So. Okay, there should only be like a few games left. Games. Like, okay, there's calculator and tuner. It's tuner. Oh. Sure, use my microphone. Hello. Guess I'm not using tuner. Um, and that just leaves calculator. There it is. I did it. That was all your channel points. Well, you probably didn't lose any because I didn't really. I didn't, like, do anything with them. Like, how do you even... What do you even... Hmm. Does it say here? Customer support? I should have learned how to use this, because I don't even know. The max BPM you can do on Metronome? Oh, um, sure. I'll, I'll check that out. Wait, let me just see this first. Hmm. Oh, can I just search slash prediction, I guess, again? Oh, there it is. Okay, choose outcome. Yeah, sorry, heads one. I don't make the rolls. So rip your channel points. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. It it was it was heads. I don't I don't know what to tell you. It was it was heads. You know, God himself does not want you to have those channel points, and we must listen to him, okay? God wanted the uh, the coin to land on heads. And that's just how it is, you know? So yeah. But for two months and just stole all your channel points. Yeah, it, it had to be done. Like I said, I don't make the rules. It's it's not really up to me. Wait, so highest uh, BPM on metronome. Right, this is the tuner. Here it is. 218. It's kind of a kind of an arbitrary number. I don't believe in God. Well, you do now because um why else would you get? Why else would it have landed on heads? I mean, wait. Why is there another prediction? Oh wait, no, it's that's nothing. Never mind. Anyway, I think this is a good stopping point. This was a fun stream. I definitely streamed for longer than I thought I was going to. Very exciting. Look at all these numbers. Doesn't this just make you want to throw yourself off a bridge? Look at this. Look at this color. Oh, that's definitely more purple. Yeah, I need the background to be purple. That's what that poll was about. I figured out how to change the background color because I asked on the Majora's Mask Randomizer Discord and someone actually found it somehow. That was cool. Felt like it looked more blue before. This is definitely more purple. Who cares? I'm going to um, end the stream now. But yeah, I will be back. I don't know exactly what day I'll be back, but yeah, I'll just post in Discord next time I want to do a stream.
But yeah, I'll definitely be playing Octopath Traveler 2 when that comes out. So that's going to go down pretty soon. Anyway, um, fare thee well. Please don't leave for another few months. No, at most, I'm going to be gone for like 16 days. So yeah, at most. So, um, um, I, um, uh, bye.